okay hi everyone so today we are going to discuss about the speed power torque characteristics of an dc motor in armature armature voltage control method and field current control method so here we have an simple relation for power and torque power is equal to torque into omega so power is equal to torque into omega is called as angular velocity the units of angular velocity is nothing but radian per second so this omega can be written as 2 pi n divided by 60 now let us try to consider what happens less than rated speed what happens at critical speed what happen beyond the rated speed so now in order to draw these characteristics i am going to consider the x axis which is nothing but the speed and the next y axis is nothing but the power and one more y axis which is nothing but the torque so while this is analyzed so here we are going to take torque as constant okay so first we are having the we are running with this nothing but initial speed or minimum speed and this is nothing but rated speed and this is nothing but I am considering this as a maximum speed. So first condition I am assuming that torque is constant. Whenever the torque is constant power is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60. You can say that power is directly proportional to speed in this case. Okay. So less than rated speed I am going to get this condition. So I am assuming the torque, I mean that is torque magnitude is of a constant magnitude in this duration. So varying from minimum speed to rated speed. So here the torque is constant. When the torque is constant, power is directly proportional to the speed. Okay. So you can see here speed is increasing from n minimum to speed is varying up to n maximum slowly power is proportional to speed so with the increase of speed power is also step by step increasing with the increase of power the speed is also increasing where we have the relation power is directly proportional to speed and as soon as it reaches a constant torque so this is nothing but we are going to reach the rated speed so minimum speed let us try to take it as a 100 rpm rated speed let us try to take it as a 1500 rpm and this is beyond the rated speed we are having maximum speed so in this case what's happening is we have power is equal to torque into 2 pi n divided by 60 so here i am assuming power as constant when power is constant power divided by 2 pi n divided by 60 that is equal to torque so you can see here so already we assumed that power is constant therefore torque is inversely proportional to 1 by n so at low speeds our dc motor will offer high torque and next one under high speeds the torque offered is minimum okay let's try to experience this where these two i can draw with an hyperbolic characteristics under low speed so let's taking this rated as a low speed so i'm having an hyperbolic characteristics like this so already i told at low speeds we are going to have high torque you can see here torque is maximum that low speed is rated speed now when you come to this point at this point what's happening is speed is maximum okay speed is maximum and torque is minimum so i can say from these characteristics if you join uh, multiple points of uh, torque versus speed then you are going to get uh, join this these characteristics are called as a uh, hyperbolic characteristics or inverse characteristics in this hyper 
hyperbolic characteristics we are going to how the speed control is made by armature voltage control method and field current control method okay so field generally called field and we go call it as a field current control method we'll try to experience this see here here we are operating less than rated speed then which type of method we are going to use is a armature voltage control method so armature voltage control method we are using when you are running our electric vehicle drive train or the dc motor less than rated speed when you are driving from rated speed to maximum speed then we are going to use the method more than the rated speed we are going to use the field current control method this is but field current control method in this field current control method we are going to run the ev motor beyond the rated speed so that's how we are going to get the field current control method and in this region we are going to get armature voltage control method so like this we are going to have the speed power r characteristics exhibited by our dc motor under two methods of speed control techniques one is armature voltage control technique next one is field current so if you are getting any characteristics like this and i can say that these characteristics are required by an traction motor or an traction motor used in electric vehicle applications so these are the characteristics required by the traction motor the same characteristics are also supplied by our dc motor using its speed control techniques of armature voltage control as well as field current control method hope you got the concept of how this speed power torque characteristics are useful to control the speed from minimum speed to maximum speed if you find the content is useful please like share with your friends and if you have any doubts you can give your comments in comment section and please subscribe the channel if you're watching first time and try to promote this sort of free channels useful to the benefit of students so thank you for watching we we'll meet in the next video of dc to dc converters the need of dc to dc converters in ev drive train thank you